Want to score more touchdowns on special teams? You probably didn't know there's a very simple trick to do that much more often. Like every single game. As well as other special team tips for everything from better kick accuracy. Or how to finally stop the meta QB sneak and fullback dive plays. So if you want to know what tricks I'm using to get results like this. He could go all the way. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be focusing on special teams. I'll be giving you guys several tips, tricks, and cheats that can help you score more often on special teams as well as get more stops on defense. I've already made several videos like this about offense and defense as well, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, I will have links in the description as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video for both, so stick around for that. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you need more help on offense, or defense you can check out my ebooks links in the description below and top pin comment all you have to do is click the links to have them sent to your email of your choice for instant download my first tip is how to score more touchdowns on kick returns if you watch my gameplays you might have noticed that i have been showing a lot more special team highlights as of late and that is because the first trick i'm going to show you has resulted in a huge increase in kick return touchdowns over the years in madden kicking to the fullback on kickoffs has become more and more popular until it's become the meta at this point as probably 90 percent of players or more would rather kick to a slow fullback or backup tight end than risk a larger kick return from a faster return man but if enough people start start using this one simple trick that I'm about to show you I guarantee that will all change as all you have to do to counter this is go into your depth chart and substitute the fastest player you have possible at the starting fullback spot this will usually be a backup running back but you can also use a fast tight end as well as long as they have 90 speed and 90 plus acceleration it should work out just fine I didn't invent this idea as I started to notice players online doing this trick but they would mostly just run forward to try to get a few additional yards on kick return Turns. But what most people don't know is that when you kick the ball in this direction, it causes the entire kick return coverage unit to commit more drastically in that direction from the start of the play, meaning the gunners on the opposite side of the field usually abandon whatever containment programming that they probably don't even have and just run across the field, making it much easier to get around them by simply sprinting immediately to the right and running around them to the outside. You might have to backtrack a little sometimes, but this is probably the most consistent way to get kick return touch touchdowns in the entire game as you probably can get one at the very least every other game if you do this correctly. This exact same concept works if your opponent kicks the ball too far as well, which often happens as it will reach the return man from time to time. It still works the exact same way. You just have to do the exact same thing, but you might have less room outside here since the kick return coverage doesn't take as drastic of an angle in coverage as it would if it was kicked short to the fullback. Despite this very effective counter, I still feel that kicking to the fullback is still the best option on kickoffs, and this trick will also help on kick return coverage as well. If you're one of the few people in the world that doesn't know how to kick to the fullback yet, it's very simple. All you have to do is hit the Y or triangle button to sky kick, then use the left stick to angle the kick towards the sideline until it stops you. Don't worry about accidentally kicking it out of bounds as it won't let you do that. From there, it really depends on who you have kicking the ball. As too powerful of a leg can result in a lot of touchbacks. So if you have a kicker with a strong leg, think like a Justin Tucker or anybody with a high 90 kick power, just don't fill the kick meter the entire way. This trick can also be very useful to shave a few seconds off the clock in a close game. Think before half or maybe towards the end of the game where you don't want to give your opponent a lot of time as the clock doesn't start until the return man touches the ball. So if you kick it into the end zone, most people would rather just take the touchback and save the time for their offense. But if you do this correctly, they will either have to return it or sometimes they'll try to let it go out of the back of the end zone anyway and risk it dying inside the five, which will result in much worse starting field position. Another benefit of swapping a fast running back at the fullback spot is on kick return coverage since the fullback is also a gunner spot on the same side as the fullback kick on the return team so when you kick to the fullback yourself you can just click on to the backup running back and sprint and you will notice that you will consistently beat all the other gunners down the field giving you the opportunity to make a tackle for a much shorter return just make sure to protect against the return man crossing the field like i showed earlier if you do score with a kick return from the fullback your opponent might start kicking to the return man once again 
There's a trick to getting more kick return touchdowns from the return man as well. When running the football in Madden 23, you might have heard that the game rewards you and penalizes you based on when you use the sprint button. For example, if you sprint too early, say behind the line of scrimmage, a lot of times you will often get penalized by the defenders getting off their blocks much quicker. This same idea works on kick returns as well, as blockers will hold up longer if you refrain from sprinting. So if you're a player who likes to hit the sprint button the second you catch the ball with your return man so that you can get as many yards as possible, you'll probably get a higher average return, but much less kick return touchdowns. As you'll get much better blocking if you don't sprint until the blocking sets up, making for a lot of touchdown returns that feel effortless due to better blocking. Next up, I'm going to go over a trick that most people probably already know about how to improve your accuracy on field goal attempts, as this is something a lot people still struggle with. Whenever kicking short kicks and extra points, you can slow down the return speed of the kick meter simply by not letting it fill up the entire way before it returns. And you will notice that the slower speed will make it much easier to time the accuracy meter and make the shorter kick. Just be sure that you are within range for your kicker so that you don't kick it too short and miss that way. For longer kicks, you can't do this trick, but there is a way to extend the distance of your kick, and that is to point the kick meter down before taking an attempt. This, in theory, should make it easier to get blocked, but it never really does. Instead, it just adds a good 5 yards or more to the distance of any field goal attempt without any penalty at all. My last tip is about short yardage defense, more specifically goal line, as I'm going to show you a shutdown defense for any situation where your opponent comes out in a goal line offensive formation. For years now, the meta money plays to score from the one yard line has been the quarterback sneak or the fullback dive from this formation. And if your opponent would get to a one yard line, it would basically be an automatic touchdown as long as you would choose one of these two plays. But did you know that there's a defense in the game already that needs zero adjustments that will stop them both easily and consistently and that play is the 60 out jacks which i've mentioned several times in my latest gameplays as this is an absolutely shut down defense in these scenarios there are two different formations in the goal line defensive packages in most playbooks one is the 5-3 and the other is the 6-2 the 60 out jack can be found in the 6-2 to make this defense better in this situation you can always go to your coaching adjustments and set your flats to zero for outside run defense just in case your opponent switches to a toss or any outside run play from this formation or you can set them to five in case your opponent tries to pass to set this play up all you have to do is bring one of the linebackers over the center in the direction of the quarterback pre-snap you can also crash the defensive line inside to help this should stop the quarterback sneak very easily as you will see the quarterback's knee will hit the ground early since he won't be able to fall forward since there's no fall forward space but if your opponent switches to the fullback dive the other blitzing linebacker will be in position to come in and back you up there as well which most other defenses don't offer, making both of these plays obsolete much more often than not. So that's that's the vid. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments section. And if you want to see more from the offense and defensive tips videos that I mentioned earlier in the video, I will have them popping up on screen. So just click the links, and they'll take you to that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.